Stepping into the intricate world of Google's artificial intelligence service Gemini, where recent developments have stirred controversy and raised eyebrows. In a surprising move, Google has pressed the pause button on certain image generation capabilities of Gemini after users voiced concerns about historically inaccurate outputs. Google has taken a significant step by disabling the image generation capability of its artificial intelligence tool, Gemini, following accusations of anti-white bias. The move, one of the most notable instances of curbing a major AI tool, come amidst a viral post shared on X, where Gemini responded to a prompt for a portrait of a founding father of America, with images featuring individuals of diverse ethnic backgrounds triggering controversy. The uproar gained momentum when ex-owner Elon Musk and psychologist YouTuber Jordan Peterson joined in, accusing Google of incorporating a pro-diversity bias into its product. The New York Post even featured one of the contentious images on its front page, adding fuel to the fire. The incident highlights the ongoing clash between tech companies, AI products, and the cultural battles surrounding diversity, content moderation, and representation. Since the release of ChatGPT in 2022, there has been a recurring narrative among conservatives, alleging that generative AI tools produce results with a liberal bias, echoing similar accusations against social media platforms. In response to the controversy, Google acknowledged that Gemini's ability to generate a diverse range of people aligns with its global user base. However, the company conceded that in this particular case, it missed the mark. The decision to disable the image generation feature was announced through a post on X. The extent of the issue remains unclear, but before the feature was blocked, Gemini produced images of white individuals in response to prompts from a Washington Post reporter. The move by Google reflects the challenges and debates surrounding AI tools and their unintended consequences in a world where diversity, representation, and bias are pivotal concerns. The saga unfolded when Gemini, responding to prompts like the Founding Fathers and 1943 German soldier, presented images that deviated from historical accuracy, incorporating people of color in unexpected contexts. This unexpected twist has left Google grappling with a public relations challenge just as Alphabet, its parent company, aims to propel advertising and corporate partnerships through its AI offerings. Acknowledging the issue, Google reassured users that corrective measures are underway. In a statement on X, the company stated, We are working to improve these kinds of depictions immediately. Gemini's AI image generation does generate a wide range of people, and that's generally a good thing, because people around the world use it. But it's missing the mark here. Google's senior director of product for Gemini, Jack Krokjek, emphasized the company's commitment to addressing representation and bias seriously. In another post on X, Krawchik highlighted, as part of our AI principles, we design our image generation capabilities to reflect our global user base and we take representation and bias seriously. We will continue to do this for open-ended prompts, image of a person walking a dog or universal. While certain aspects of Gemini's image generation are currently on hold for improvements, the AI suite's other applications, including its renowned chatbot and namesake Bard, remain fully operational. However, this hiccup in Gemini's journey arrives at a less than ideal juncture for Google, which is actively expanding its AI offerings. The recent launch of Gemini Business, extending AI services for Google Workspace customers, and the introduction of a new generation of AI models named Gemma underscore Google's commitment to AI innovation. Diving into the intricacies of what led Gemini, Google's ambitious AI model, to encounter unexpected challenges. The enigma surrounding Gemini's pitfalls becomes apparent as Google, when approached for answers, chooses to maintain a resolute silence. In a blog post released on Friday, Google unraveled some of the mysteries behind Gemini's hiccups. The image feature, a pivotal component of Gemini, was intricately woven with a text-to-image AI model known as Imagine 2. The incorporation of this ability into Gemini was accomplished by meticulous tuning, a measure taken to sidestep potential pitfalls witnessed in the past. Google was keen on avoiding the generation of images exclusively portraying individuals of a particular ethnicity or any other distinctive characteristic, especially given its diverse user base spanning the globe. Senior Vice President Prab Hakkar Raghavan delved into the complexities that led to Gemini missing the mark. 
The tuning, intended to showcase a diverse range of people, inadvertently faltered in excluding scenarios where such diversity was inappropriate. Furthermore, over time, the AI model adopted an excessively cautious stance, refusing to respond to certain prompts altogether. This caution, as Raghavan explained, resulted in the model misconstruing innocuous prompts as sensitive, a deviation from its intended functionality. While Google refrained from delving into the specifics, Margaret Mitchell, former co-lead of ethical AI at Google and chief ethics scientist at AI startup Hugging Face, offered insights into the potential tuning interventions. Mitchell suggested that Google might have discreetly introduced ethnic diversity terms into user prompts, subtly altering phrases like portrait of a chef to portrait of an indigenous chef. This surreptitious addition of terms could occur randomly, with prompts potentially carrying multiple appended terms. Meanwhile, Mitchell also speculated on another intervention, proposing that Google could be prioritizing generated images based on darker skin tones. In this scenario, if Gemini produced 10 images for a single prompt, the system would analyze these skin tones and elevate images featuring darker-skinned individuals. Consequently, if Gemini only displayed the top four images, those with darker skin tones would take precedence. The complexities of Gemini's journey into the world of AI unveil a tapestry of challenges and unintended consequences that continue to intrigue and perplex. Furthermore, we might be wondering why AI has diversity issues and bias? The challenges of addressing diversity issues and bias in AI persist due to the inherent limitations of training data used for AI image tools. The majority of these tools rely on data scraped from the internet, primarily sourced from the United States and Europe. This geographical limitation results in a skewed perspective as the training data fails to encompass the global diversity of experiences and representations. Similar to the functioning of large language models predicting the next word in a sentence, AI image generators exhibit a propensity for stereotyping. They tend to reflect the images most commonly associated with a given word as perceived by American and European internet users. The consequence of such training is an inherent bias that reproduces discriminatory, racist content prevalent on the web. Safia Omoja Noble, co-founder and faculty director of the UCLA Center for Critical Internet Inquiry, remarked on the challenge of overcoming biases ingrained in AI models trained on problematic internet content. She emphasized that the discriminatory nature of the training data contributes to the limitations and the capabilities of generative AI. A recent investigation by the Post highlighted the disparities generated by the open-source AI tool Stable Diffusion XL. Despite improvements over its predecessors, the tool still produced racial disparities more extreme than real-world demographics. For instance, it depicted only non-white and primarily darker-skinned individuals for images related to a person receiving social services, contrary to the Census Bureau's data on food stamp recipients. In contrast, examples cited by critics of Gemini, an AI tool developed by Google, appeared plausible. A viral tweet showcased a prompt for an image of a Viking resulting in an image of a non-white man and a black woman. Another prompt for an image of a pope generated images of an Indian woman and a black man. While some may deem these depictions historically inaccurate, the diversity represented aligns with the potential historical realities. For instance, Viking trade routes extended to Turkey and northern Africa, and there is archaeological evidence of black individuals living in Viking-era Britain. The complexities of historical accuracy and the perpetuation of biases in AI models continue to be significant challenges in the quest for fair and unbiased artificial intelligence. In the grand scheme of things, as Alphabet disclosed its fourth quarter earnings in January, CEO Sundar Pichai highlighted AI's pivotal role in steering advertising and corporate partnership growth for the tech giant. The unfolding chapters of Gemini's narrative serve as a reminder of the challenges and responsibilities that come with wielding the power of artificial intelligence on a global stage. Stay tuned as Google strives to rectify and navigate this unexpected twist in the evolving landscape of AI technology. Like, share, and subscribe for the latest updates.